Hey everybody, Rich here. I did do an article on this, but some people got confused, mainly because there is no self-installer for this app, so I have to show how to install it manually and work with it. Now, even though this is the Windows XP environment, this will also work in Windows Vista and Windows 7, even if you're running 64-bit, which is cool. So with that said, let's get to it. Now the clock at the bottom right in XP. Now this isn't the case in Windows 7 and Vista because uh, the default taskbar area is two tiers high in those environments with larger icons, but in the XP environment it's by default one tier high, which is how most people prefer it. And there are some Vista and 7 users who have purposely shrunken down their taskbar area to one tier high because they just like th the uh, the thinner bar, and that's fine. The problem is, is that you end up with a clock like this, which is just the time, and the uh, anti-meridian, post-meridian, which is AM or PM. You can hover over it and get the full date, but they'd rather have just the full date in a single line. The utility to get it to show the whole date in a single line is called T-Clock 2010. So let's go download it. Go to bing.com search for T-C-L-O-C-K space 2010 T-Clock 2010 enter the first link here is Stoic Jokers T-Clock 2010 that's the one on the next page in the black uh, bar area up here is a download link click that on the next page in the second paragraph you'll see another link for download here click that on the next page at donationcoder.com, scroll down a little bit until you see this blue boxed area. Look for download link. T Clock 2010 Build 95 is right here. That's the one we want. Click and save. I'm going to put it on the desktop and save. It's a very fast download because it is under one megabyte in size. Would even fit on a floppy disk, it's so small. So let's close the browser, and here it is. Now, I have 7-zip, but even if you don't have an archiving utility, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7 all have the ability to open zip files without having to install anything, because that's a built-in feature to the OS. So you should be able to, to double-click and open it. Now, yours will probably look different, but you can do the same thing, where you can just take the folder and drag it on the desktop, which is what I'm going to do. T-Clock 2010 build X release to DC click and drag on the desktop close the zip so here we go now we have to drop this <clears throat> excuse me into the program files folder because there is no installer for this app it's just executable so that's all it is so I will click start and then run and by the way this will also work in Vista and 7 percent sign which is a shift 5 P R O G R A M F I L E S Shift five for percent again. So again that's percent program files with no spaces and another percent sign and click OK. Which will open the program files folder. And then uh let me just make this a little bigger and a little taller so I can drop this into the blank white area down here. Click and drag the T clock folder into here and there it goes and press F5 to refresh which will put all the folders in alphabetical order and there's T clock 2010 so I will now double click this folder to open it now if you're running Windows XP it's pretty much guaranteed you're running a 32-bit version if you were running a 64-bit version of Windows XP you would know it so if you're running Windows XP, you're using 32-bit. Now there are a smattering of users out there for Vista and, and uh, Windows 7 that you might be running a 32-bit version. You might not. I don't know. You can try the 64-bit version, which is a separate executable. If it doesn't work, just use the 32-bit version. Your computer will not break if you attempt to run the 64-bit. If you try to run it, it'll just say, uh, not a valid Win32 application. That's the worst that can possibly happen if you run the 64-bit version and it doesn't work. So I go to Win32 and here's the utility called Clock. Simple enough. Now when I launch it, watch what happens down here. Okay, now the clock has changed, but it looks mighty ugly. 
that's okay because we'll change that in a bit. Now at this point we can close this window. To modify this stuff, right click, that brings up a uh, uh, brings up a menu and go to T clock properties. Now the first thing you want to do is you probably would want to run this on startup so go ahead and check the box where it says start T clock 2010 when Windows starts and hit apply. It will ask you at that point if you want to add a shortcut to the startup folder. Are you sure? Yes. Now before continuing if you don't like it and you want it gone you can just uncheck this apply and hit yes again for removing the shortcut so but I'm gonna put it back because I do want it in there now the two tabs there are a bunch of tabs in here but the two tabs you want to be concerned with are clock text and time format now uh, the first one to do is probably clock text now in XP if you want to match the menu font that font is called Tahoma T-A-H-O-M-A just click where it says font here, scroll down and choose Tahoma and with a font size of 8 and no bold and apply. Now even though it's slammed to the top right now it does match the default menu font and the taskbar font and so on. In Windows Vista N7 the font is actually Sego UI, S-E-G-O-E UI with a size of 9 by default and it looks like that. If you don't like those two fonts, that's fine. You can choose any font you want, because I am not the boss of you. If you want some crazy font, be my guest. You can also make it really itty-bitty and go into uh, anti-aliased Win 7 mode, even in XP. Like if I wanted to do... Uh, can I select term Is Terminal an option here? I don't think so. Like if I wanted to do... Let me see if I can get something really teeny-tiny here. Oh yeah, if I press start 2p, which is a, uh, that's a custom font I downloaded to make it a size 6. So, like that. It has like an old school video game look to it. Anyway, let's go back to Tahoma. Uh, WinXP size 8. Apply. There we go. Now, at this point, I go to time format. And what I'm going to do, now this does follow the regional settings of your... Uh, time format, which in XP is in control panel, date and time, I'm sorry, not date and time, my bad. Where is it? Regional and language options, and I think it's under customize, date. Yeah, that's actually, it follows this. I have mine purposely set as DDMMMYYYY. Uh, for this specific format because I like that. That is not the default format for the uh, United States locale. Normally it's MM slash DD slash YYYY for month, day, year, but I do day, month, year because I think month, day, uh, yeah, month, day, year is stupid. So I like day, month, year. It just makes more sense to me. But anyway, <laughs> so it's going to follow that. And anyway, now here you can choose how it's going to look. So what I want to happen is I'm pretty much happy actually you know what the four digit year let me put that in okay yeah day of week day of month text month four digit year and time with anti meridian post meridian in 12 hour format that's pretty much what I want and I will tick the option to add in a, a it says link break but actually it means line break hit apply and now that looks proper. Okay, so now from the About tab, I have it start up every time when Windows starts. And if I go to All Programs and Startup, you'll see that it did add a link in here like it said it did. And this will look good for me, and that means I do not have to, uh, you know, hover over it just to see the full information that I want. And again, remember, this works also in Vista and 7, so it's a cool little thing to have. Now, if you want to check out the other things, there are other options in here where you can do uh, what they call quickie menus. There's some menu item details. You can actually assign hotkeys if you want to. Under mis miscellaneous, you can do things like showing the week number, and you can specify the first week of the year, and blah 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 all sorts of stuff you can, there's also things you can do with the mouse it's crazy what you can do with this now uh, 
I should note that um, on a final note, double clicking this with the left mouse button does nothing. So when you have T clock running, so if you actually now if ordinarily what happens when you double click the clock it brings up the calendar. If you want to get to the calendar, you just have to remember to right click and do adjust date time and you get the calendar back. Now you're not going to adjust anything here. You just wanted to see the calendar. So for that just remember right click oops and adjust date time and you get it right back. And that's it. Now um there let me see if there's anything else in here I wanted to show. No, not really. There, I mean, there's a whole bunch of options in this, but the primary point is that now I can take a quick look here without moving my mouse. I see the weekday, uh, day, month, year, time, in 12-hour anti-meridian, post-meridian, meaning AM, PM, and that's cool. It will do that on every Windows startup. You know, I think there's one more thing I will show here. Oops, wrong option. Uh, one more thing I will show trying to see if there's actually any synchronization options here. I don't think there is. Does it do sync? No, I don't think it does sync. But that's okay, because Windows does time sync on its own anyway. Anyway, there you go. T-Clock 2010. Works in XP, works in Vista, works in 7, makes the clock look like it's supposed to in a single tier look, and gives you all the information you need. And it's free.